हाय एवरीवन दिस इज मोहित एंड वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स टेक अप चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज आस्क्ड इन जेन पैक्ट फॉर ऑटोमेशन टेस्ट इंजीनियर 2 to 5 year so just give me one second yeah you can see you know every interview so i will give you some tips regarding your you know uh, if you are attending if you are the automation test engineer and attending as experience level so 80% or 70% question are coming common i already uh, last time we had uh, you know discuss about of uh, ust global first round okay so we can see so i will not give you 100% answer here so please you can search on the google and you can prepare the answer yourself what happened when you are searching and when you are finding the answer right you will get more some more content over there if i will give the answer only you know then that is not profitable for you that is my point of view so every interview you know they will ask you tell me about yourself so here the interviewer will ask you that tell me about yourself then we have to explain our a uh, skill set we have to ex we have to explain our a uh, skill set your roles and responsibility okay and your introduction must be short okay you have to give the chance to the interviewer to ask the more question always they will ask you tell me about yourself so please be prepared and even i already made a uh, some real time interview question and answer in my playlist end of the video i will show you okay again second question is write a program to reverse the string this is very basic question i will also guide you you know where you can do the practice for the coding almost question they will ask from that website also then we having the write a program to uh, write a program to reverse each word in the string again this is the you know simple and re repeated question again another question is write a program to reverse the sentence okay again this is you know all you can see mostly question they will ask you from the string and array so we have to focus on that again another program you can say write a program to count the each occurrence of the string so all are repeated question and i will show you some website where you can you know go through that and you will get the proper answer also you know again another question is what is constructor what is constructor so first of all if you are preparing for the interview for automation test engineer you have a very good knowledge in the core java otherwise you will get stuck in the interview so what is the constructor so constructor is a, a special type of the class which is uh, sorry a special type of the method which is used to declare which is used to initialize an object okay so class name and constructor name must be same i told you right i'm not going to give you 100% answer just i'll give you brief you again what is a static member in java so what is the static member in java so a static is a keyword in java and we having the some member in the java like a static variable a static block a static method main method these are the static member so jvm will provide you know common memory for a static you can see main method is a static so if you will create if you will how to access the static member if you you can we can access directly or we can access through the class name so what is overriding and overloading okay so what is sorry here the question is what is overriding and rules for, rules of overriding okay so overriding means you know what is overriding so we having the super class and sub class redefining super class redefining non static method in sub class with same method signature but we having the different implementation that concept are called overriding so we having the many things inside this overriding i will show you okay i will show you where you can learn this all the things okay what is private keyword so you know these are the modifier so by using the private keyword we can access only within the class and we have we have a many use of the private like you know when we perform the encapsulation concept we use the private keyword to provide the security to the data what is singleton pattern so again singleton pattern means what what we do basically we uh, we create a 
object as a static okay singleton pattern say that just define the class that only one instance and provide the global point of the access on it means that object is common okay in other words a class must ensure that only singleton instance should be created and single object can be used by the all the other classes got it right means we having the one object and this object is a common for all okay common memory like the static right so static having the common memory we cannot we cannot modify and all right so that is the use of you know singleton please go through the you know google and find the find the code as well right so that is very uh, beneficial for you guys so we can be having the another question uh my system is bit stuck so just give me one second <sighs> wow okay just yeah so we'll move in the another question so we can see so what is an interface and how many types of the interface of label in collection okay again this is the common question so interface how to create an interface so by using the interface keyword right we can create an interface right interface is a fully unimplemented class which is used to declare some set of operation okay in inside this interface we can declare abstract method right we cannot provide any implementation how many types of the interface is available in the collection collection itself is your interface we having the another interface list and set list and set is the subset of the collect sub subset sub sub uh, interface of a collection map is your separate collection right so you can give what is hard assert and soft assert again it is selenium related question you can search on the google how to handle multiple window again this is selenium related question you can search on the google if you are you don't know these are the common question i will not spend time to explain here if you are learning java selenium you must having this answer right how to handle the frame again these all are selenium question and very basics question so please uh, learn and you know make the solution and write the code what is the difference beta statement right so again implicit weight explicit weight fluent weight you have to know where we can use and how to use and how to write the code how many types of the exception is there in the selenium okay so you can again prepare at least 10 or 15 exception and you also write the answer and why we will get this exception again what is system dot or dot println so system is a class out is a variable and println is your method system class is available in your java dot lang package out is your variable and println is your method another question is what is the authorization and authentication okay authentication is the act of the validation that users are whom they claim to it and this is the first steps in the security process complete an authentication process right so authentication means we 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 have to provide the security like password if you know the password then you can access right one time password right grant uh, one type one time pin right like grant access for only one session or transaction right you can see we are getting the otp right so after few minutes otp will otp will expired right it is not valid authentication app you know some of the apps are there to generate the token right biometric system right you having the fingerprint right if if you will go in the company you if you have a id card then you are able to access otherwise you are not able to access right then authorization means what is authorization authorization in a system security is the process of giving user permission to access a specific resource or function this term is often used to interchange why with the access control or client privilege authorization means you you are the authorized person to access like if you are a new user in in amazon right so you cannot access directly amazon website you have to give some information then you will get username and password to 
do validation right so this is the difference between authorization and authentication you guys can search again on the google and try to understand more stuff can be override constructor yes we can over sorry we cannot override the constructor constructor you can see this is a very basics question for the java selenium so nowadays days the interviewer is looking for you are good in all subject like uh, you are good in coding a skill you are good in java so just i will give you the some tips okay so here uh, my go to my youtube channel if you are preparing for the interview and how to prepare the interview and how to explore your java skill so you can go to my youtube channel channel so my youtube channel is engineers tech hub it taking time to load okay go to this and uh, you can see i uh, just go here okay and here i have created one playlist many people are searching the job they did not work in the real time and are struggling so i have prepared one list real time interview question and answer you can go here so i made this complete playlist if you are not working in the real time what challenges you have faced what is your roles and responsibility what is your day to day activity tell me about your experience how to prepare right here what is the agile what is the rules for the agile so this is out here you will get all the real time how to uh, do the do the preparation for managerial round so here you will get many things and if you want to learn java okay and i have made some playlist also so you can go here in the playlist you will get here some live session even i am also teaching online classes so here you can explore your java skill set yeah these are the videos are there for the java so you can explore your java skill set okay and here you have to work on coding a skill so this code you will get on the google so how to do the coding and also first of all you have to you know you have to first of all you have to you know you having the basics idea about of how the if else condition will work how is you know for loop is working while loop is working so this thing you have to take care first then you can start to write the code okay and write and debug the code and try to understand each flow of the code okay so hope so you like this video and you will get the more you know some idea about of the this question and some question many questions are the common okay so please do the preparation for complete syllabus and this inter interview question will help you to how how is your preparation take your interview okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel and this is the latest question for gen pact okay so i having the many list of the question so i will try to deliver this interview question real time interview question and answer for recent question and answer for automation testing profile so please share and subscribe and press bell icon if you will press the bell icon then what will happen if i will upload any video then you will get the notification so thank you so much and see you in the next video